Hey Capricorn, do me a favor, trust yourself, you're in the right place. Here is your moon message for the Waning Gibbous and Taurus. So this is covering September 13th through the 16th and Waning Gibbous and Taurus energy is all about releasing aesthetics that don't serve you. So this could be cleaning up your house, your home, losing weight, and this is a love reading. So we're gonna see whoever's coming up in this reading. They might be noticing your glow up. This is really clearing. So they could just be noticing you losing weight or something like that. We're gonna dive in, find out. Let's go. All right, so let's set the intention for clarity for Capricorn. Only clear answers coming through these cards. What does Cap need to see about who is in their love energy for the Waning Gibbous and Taurus? Who is in Cap's love energy for the Waning Gibbous and Taurus? <clears throat> we have the thread. Hanging on by a thread. Yeah, it, it's almost like they've lost all hope, but there's that little bit of hope. So I feel like this could possibly be someone you dated, but it could also possibly be someone that's just been trying for a while Capricorn and you haven't budged and they're like oh I'm kind of sick of this game but I'm not completely done so let's get a little bit more for you Cap for the waning gibbous and Taurus and I'm getting something with that waning energy like maybe their energy is waning right they haven't really gotten the response they wanted from you give me more for Capricorn What does Cap need to see with the thread and this person in their love energy, their love field? Ooh, more for Capricorn. The person in their love field? Okay. Queen of Cups in reverse. So I'm getting that this is definitely somebody that lost you or misses you or, you know, the Queen of Cups is a master of her vibration. She's got so much to give, so much in her cup. But in reverse, it's like, feeling like you've exhausted all possibilities. So I feel like this person, it's almost like a, they're at the breaking point, but they're not completely done. So that's Cancer energy coming out. Give me more for Capricorn. Who is in their love energy? Queen of Pentacles, there's your Capricorn energy. I'm really feeling like this is someone that feels like they lost you or very much missing your energy or wishing they had it around. These two queens are very, they're divine feminine, you know, master of house and home energy. That's the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups is all about her emotions, her feelings. So I feel like you really gave a lot to this person, Capricorn. <clears throat> you either gave a lot to this person or, I mean, that's kind of what I'm getting. It's almost like they lost you, you gave a lot to them. I mean, Let's see the third and final card. What does Cap need to see? They're telling me to take this one. The King of Wands, all these royalty cards in reverse court cards. So there's Leo energy. <clears throat> Someone feels very powerless to the situation. The King of Wands is almighty powerful. So when he's in reverse, there's someone that just feels like there's nothing more they can do to win you back. Yeah. Three of cups, bottom of the deck energy. So this is again, cancer energy in reverse. There could have been a third party involved and maybe that's why you were like, no to this person. Yeah. But they definitely want another opportunity with you. They dropped the ball is what I'm getting. Yeah. I feel like this person dropped the ball in some way. And it led you, it like forced you to become a single person. And now they have all these doubts about if they can get you back. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> well, they should have thought about that, right? Give me more for this person hanging on by a thread for Capricorn. For the waiting gibbous and Taurus. What does Cap need to see about this energy? What more does Cap need to see about this person that feels powerless to this situation? What does Cap need to see? Tell me more about this energy from this person. Resurrection. 
encourage and share. Yeah, this person wants to resurrect this with you. And with sharing courage, I'm feeling like the courage aspect is them coming towards you because I feel like they feel like a, a clown right now. Maybe they shared your relationship. Maybe that was that three of, yeah, three of cups in reverse. I feel like this person cheated or stepped out or they did something cap where I'm really getting like a shared your relationship. Even, even with sh shared, it's like a third party energy. Number three. Three is a crowd is what I keep hearing. Mm. I feel like they're reaping what, what they sowed, to be honest. Give me more for Capricorn and this person. I mean, it might not always be cheating, but I feel like, yeah, I, I'm just getting the energy that they stepped out with Cher. But they still have this heart-to-heart -heart connection with you. Yeah, they want this change with you, Capricorn. They want to transform the energy. Yeah. Balance out the scales. I feel like the universe is telling me to show you that one. Yeah, this person wants a big change. All is not fair in love and war. All right. What does Cap need to see through the charms for this person's feelings and however they're coming towards Cap? Very lazily, because I feel like they don't really know what to do. So this flip-flop always makes me think of like a lazy day or enjoying life or just taking it easy. And I feel like, yeah, they're moving very slow because I feel like they don't really know how to come towards you. They've got all this heart energy. They're very like connected to you in their heart chakra, but at the same time, logic is telling them this is not a good idea because i feel like you're just going to be like no mm -mm. but there's still a little bit of hope from this person give me more for cap in this person so we have divine feminine with venus energy venus and capricorn so capricorn is the father of the zodiac but it's also a feminine sign so I'm getting a little bit of, yeah, there's that balanced energy. In the 12th house, which is ruled by Pisces, very spiritual, ethereal, more feeling than seeing. So this to me is the energy that this person's like, you might be feeling their energy more than them actually telling you they want to come forward towards you and change the atmosphere and they're sorry, yada, yada, yada. This is someone that's trying to just balance out the skills right now and they're just kind of starting with their feelings. So let me get an advice card with you before we close out Capricorn. What's the advice for Capricorn for this energy? Lovable. I'm lovable and worthy of love. I set my intentions to open my heart, accepting all love and compassion that comes my way. I will find my people, the people who love and accept me for who I am, for who I know I only need to, dis for I know I only need to discover them. So I feel like your real people, the people that you really want to share your life with are coming towards you, Capricorn. Uh, but it's like telling you don't give it up to people that aren't worthy of your time. Have some self-love here. I feel like you're doing the right thing cutting this person off, even though they're still trying. So it's always up to you. But yeah, my personal advice is to move on, Cap. So I hope this resonated. Thank you so much for watching this reading. And I will definitely catch you in the next moon phase reading in just a couple days.